everybody, Craig Warwick here and it's Secret Santa time again over at thefoosh.com which means, as last year, I'm going to be making a video diary of me making a custom action figure that, at the moment, I know nothing about. So, I've just received the list of the customs that I can make for my secret um, receiver of custom. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so basically the foosh.com, it's a website which is, um, has a, a really good population of customizers on it and really great action figure news. Um, every year they organize a secret Santa where they get a bunch of customizers together either by invite or they nominate themselves to take part. Um, and they then get each customizer to submit a list of customs they would like to receive and the lists are jumbled up and given to different customizers and um, no one receives their own list and then that customizer has to make a figure off of the list. Seems straightforward but of course it all depends on who you get so let's take a look. I've just received it and I haven't looked at it yet so let's hope it's not too shocking. Alright here we go. So. It's rather, rather short list, which is pretty good. Atuma, Armadillo, Ulik, Prowler, Cardiac, Dormammu, Ursa Major, the bear version, Talisman, the Omega Flight version, and Baron Mordo. So I'm going to take some time to think about this, about which one I'd like to make, but initial thoughts are, <sighs> I don't want to make any of these. But that had to be expected to be honest, because if I did want to make them I would have made them myself. I'll just run through them individually. Atuma, now he is uh, one of Namor's enemies. He's. To my knowledge, he's a big blue guy with a kind of a... Does he have some sort of snake head around his mouth with fangs? I don't really know his hook, apart from he's a, an Atlantean warlord, so I can't really... He's not, like, firing my imagination at the moment. And... Oops, I have just lost the list. Oh, there it is. It's okay. Armadillo. Now, he's a really big character, he looks like an armadillo and you know I've seen some great customs of him but I don't think he's along my line of customising um, but I'll think about it Ulik, he is one of Thor's enemies I believe he's a, is he a troll? Is he an ogre? I'm not too sure I think he's a, he kind of looks like Kalabak I could just customise Calabac. Lazy. Um, he's he's stocky and hairy. Wait a minute. So again, um, I'm getting the, the feeling off of this list that the guy likes powerful characters, you know, really physical characters. Next up we have the Prowler. He is a, I think he's a Spider-Man villain hero, more of a hero. Um, dresses in green, purple sort of spawn mask and a purple cape. Pretty straightforward to be honest. Again, not firing the imagination. Cardiac, he was from the 90s, Spider-Man villain. Or, or kind of anti-hero I suppose. Willing to use lethal force. Um, kind of a cool aesthetic. Blue and white. Zigzag lightning. Lightning staff. Meh. Dormammu. I've got him in there. I could just like... Post him out. I could make another one. I'm not too sure. I do like Dormammu. I could make his classic look. You know? They haven't specified a look here. So, like a lot of the work of that one was on the body, and if you watched my video last year, 
there's a balance I'm trying to strike here. It's between being really lazy and the fear that the thing I get back isn't going to be that hot or going all out hoping that I'll get something that someone has gone all out on and it's kind of striking that balance between it so I do want to make like a good custom at the same time I don't want to go all out I, that's just me being honest to be on honest to be honest um, that's where I'm at and I hope whoever gets the custom at the end of the day realises that I won't be skimping on effort uh, but yeah I don't know like the I could when I make a custom for myself I really do go all out I feel um, and with Dormammu I really made like tackled a complex costume because I really wanted to challenge myself if I was to make another Dormammu I wouldn't like to replicate what I've already done. One, because I don't like replicating things I've already done. I find it completely tedious. Um, and two, because it's just, it was really challenging for me to do. And I don't want to stress myself out with this, which should be like a happy thing to do. Um, so Dormammu, classic costume. That's probably top of my list at the moment. Ursa Major, the bear version. I've seen people do really great Ursa Major um, customs, Glenn in particular. Uh, you know, all the, the sculpting detail of the hair on the body and the bear's face. Just awesome, you know, really, really detailed stuff. But um, it's, it's not a character that, you know, I don't like big power characters. So um, that's not something that's striking me. Talisman, the Omega Flight version. I have no idea who that is. Sorry. I'll look them up. Will I look them up right now? Um, well, let me... I'll, I'll talk about the next person on the list. Baron Mordo. Now, I think he's actually someone that I've submitted on my wish list. Um, so, I'm kind of feeling I would quite like to do him. I've always wanted to do him. Uh, so yeah, he's maybe next, but um, I'm not too sure he can, I, I don't know that much about the cat, well, I mean I'm a big Doctor Strange fan, but I don't know much about his look. I know he's had that classic look, with the huge, the costume that makes no sense, which all Doctor Strange um, villains and actually heroes, they all had costumes that were full of things that wouldn't work in reality and um, two-dimensional spikes coming off people and all that uh, but here we have so here's talisman oh dear google images saves the day right okay so she is oh is she, she might um i'm just looking at the images here and getting the feeling that she's the daughter of shaman or shaman however you want to say it um you can always tell in super in superhero comics when people are related because they have the same dress sense <laughs> even down to the hair but uh i'm not i'm not sure if that's true she isn't striking me as she looks kind of simple um and I'm sure if I knew the character more, I would actually quite like to do her. She looks like she'd be pretty a pretty good character. Um, I always prefer female characters. But that's it. So at the moment, what I'm thinking is Dormammu, number one, classic look. Number two, Baron Mordo. Number three, Talisman. So I'll take some time to think about it. And I'll get back to you. Um, so that's the end of the first part of this. Um, I have to, of course, keep it a secret until the uh, the person who, who whose list this is receives their custom from me. So as much as I would like to serialise this on um, YouTube right now, it has to be a secret until the time they receive their custom. So there we have it. When this is um, out there, it'll probably be around Christmas time. So Merry Christmas to those out there. 
it's actually the 16th of August, so not feeling very Christmassy. But anyway, there we go.